Welcome to the Capital OTV featured race of the day. Sully Karate going to go over the ninth race at Woodbine. They have a 10 race card on Sunday afternoon and the feature is race eight, but it's a five horse field. So we're going to look at a race nine, seven horse field, the nice field. They're going a mile and a 16th on the synthetic. This is an allowance race for Phillies and mares three and up. I went five, one, six, and four. It's going to be tough to beat the one in this spot. Nigens Bay. Uh, this is a horse that is eight to five in the morning. Line has a really nice closing speed and ran, I thought, a pretty competitive sixth in their restricted stakes race last time out uh, in September at Woodbine. The connections off the layoff, they're 0 for 7. They're 20% on the synthetic. Uh, but I'm taking a shot against a short price with a horse that should be a with should be closing as well um, with the number one and that's the five Kate Mist who's going going to be the second choice ran at the mile in the eighth last time finished a nice fourth uh, that day but at the distance only two starts under the belt and that one of them was two starts back uh, in November at Woodbine and finished third by a length that day Again, I'm not thrilled with the price of this horse either especially the one for 11 at Woodbine lifetime but this horse can close into some slower fractions. We've seen this horse close into a 52 half, a 51 half, and a 50 and 2 uh, half. And that 50 and 2 was last time out, and the horse ran a, a credible fourth that day. The one going against some slower numbers hasn't really ran as well as Kate Miss, so I'm just going to try to beat that 8 to 5 with the horse that should be around 3 to 1. Uh, the number six I'm going to use in the third spot and a horse that should be more forwardly placed was sitting in a nice stalking role at the claiming level in December. Uh, this one we haven't seen since December either, but it's been working out decently at Woodbine. Uh, earlier in April had some nice works over the synthetic surface. So, uh, and a little bit of a horse for course angle as well. This horse has seven wins at Woodbine, including 19 for 33 lifetime. And Seems to improve uh, every race by race. Might need one more um, from this long layoff, but I think this horse should be forwardly placed, setting the race up for the closers later on. And then the four as well should be forwardly placed coming in from Keeneland. We haven't seen this one since 2018, uh, but that horse was running on the turf course and was closing nicely at Santa Anita, Del Mar, and Keeneland. Um, so I think the, this four at a price at six to one could round out the trifecta superfecta, but pretty competitive allowance race here. I'm not a fan of the one who's eight to five uh, in the ninth race at Woodbine, five, one, six, and four.